why your book is so important, right? The story of how God saved me to win hearts, not just arguments. Yeah. I think that's beautiful because if all our faith is a reaction to what the far left Antifa radicals are doing, yeah. if all our faith is a reaction to what's happening in this community, this LGTV yeah. community, if all of our faith is what's happening in this group, that group or whatever, then it just becomes a reactionary faith. Yep. And the truth is that we're here not to just win arguments. Yeah. Because if someone can argue into the kingdom, somebody could probably argue out of the kingdom. And we mm. talked about this in the last podcast that we did. This is the reason why I, I, I have a big problem with the heresy blogs. Mm -hmm. Is because our faith is so rooted in what we disagree mm -hmm. in and not what we're for. Yeah. And so when I have a conversation with Mormons or Hebrew Israelites, I'm not just trying to destroy what they're for, but I'm trying to convince them what I'm for. I'm trying to reveal truth to them, not just trying to. And so I think a lot of times we get so fixated on trying to destroy a worldview down instead of trying to properly defend ours mm -hmm. so somebody else can ascribe to it. And I, I think that our refocus has to change. Are we trying to destroy faiths mm -hmm. or are we trying to defend ours to build up other people's faith and, mm -hmm. and so other people can place their faith in, in our faith so yeah. more people can become a part of our fold and so I, I do think alright what you think about that hmm. I agree with what he's saying a lot I think <laughs> it's become like I think because Hebrew Israelites if you ever came in contact with some of them not all of them but a lot of them They're so aggressive <laughs> You know yeah. So as yeah. a man When a dude raising his voice That you call You stupid You lost You this and that You know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. It just brings a certain yeah. uh, Aspect of Wait a minute bro You know what I'm saying Like it just brings That defense mechanism Out of you To make yeah. you be like Well hold on bro You stupid You lost You know yeah. what I'm saying Like, But what he's saying Is right The goal is not to destroy The goal is to win um, And not necessarily win In that particular conversation I think People get caught up in trying to recruit people and then win them over immediately. Yeah. So they go mm -hmm. over the top. Sometimes you're led by the Spirit to say a certain thing and you go beyond what the Spirit leads you to say and start speaking in your flesh and you pretty much done eliminated what it was God was trying to plant because you've been kept, you kept on talking. Um, you got to just be led by the Spirit when you're dealing with people. And, you know, you don't be hateful, you don't be rude. You know, you have to be an example of what it is you're saying that right. you represent. Yeah. Right. And I think even, I think some accounts will say when Christ talked to the Pharisees, it was with tears in his eyes because, like Jeremiah was saying, we don't want nobody to go to hell. The Bible says it's God's uh, desire that all will be saved. Yeah. The fact of the matter is everybody's not going to be saved. But it's not, we're not the judge that puts them in heaven or hell. We're the ones who folks to share the gospel in love and in truth. And when you're not doing it, you're trying to win the argument uh, sometimes you'll lose sight of that I think another thing too I think something that we forgot Is Our testimonies Like there's power In our mm -hmm. testimonies Oh yeah There's power oh, in yeah. so many people's testimonies this, Even if you come across it Somebody can mis You know Because majority of the time Majority of the, these people's faces Is based off of uh, The false doctrine False doctrine Or Um Screwing, I know, screwing up misconception yeah. of the <laughs> scriptures. Like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Messing up the scriptures or, or taking something out of context yeah. or whatever. And sometimes, sometimes you you may not be the one. You may not be like some people in the comments. Like, what's this? What's five percent? What's this? What's oh, that? Yeah, what's that? I saw them. Yeah. Um, some stuff may not. You may not be able to answer because maybe you you're new to the faith, yeah. or maybe you or maybe you don't really like. You're not. You read the Bible, but you don't really. Dissect it like like yeah. you're supposed to, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but you still have a testimony, and the power of God is in our our testimonies. When people can say, "Hey, man, I may not know all that. All I know is, you know, I was high, I was this, I was that, and I was in a place, dark place, and Jesus came and changed my life. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I know that for a fact because I had a true experience with Him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm not saying like, I that's a great place to start, and then you should be able to. Go grow on upon that You know what I'm saying Or yeah. take it to another level Yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really careful With what I say out here Because I don't know Where everybody is yeah. And um, some of this Advice may not apply to you And it could be dangerous But there should be a point At some point Again where you're solid enough To where If you really want to reach somebody And you really want to show empathy You should be You should be strong enough To research what they believe so that when they talk is not a surprise. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I I was trained at a young age by my dad to not just know what I believe, but to know what everybody else believes. Yeah. yeah. So that you can meditate on, okay, what wh why do they believe that? What is it that 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 belief is getting at in their heart? Yeah. And most of the time, the best thing to do is just to listen. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you're talking to somebody who doesn't believe in in Jesus, or that's not necessarily the case with these people, or they yeah. just have some weird belief. 
the best thing is to listen and to find out what's motivating that belief. Yeah. Because your answer shouldn't just be, just believe in Jesus, you can go to hell. It should be, it should be, find out what it is. Like, where did mm-hmm. that come from? Who taught you that? Like, where, yeah. where's the misconception? And then address the misconception directly. Um, so yeah, you should never be trying to destroy what somebody believes. It should be about clarifying, bringing, if truth is truth, Bring the truth to the situation, but do it in love. I think a lot of people get confused. We we um we were going to talk about the the guy Harrison Butker mm-hmm. on the yeah. Chiefs, yeah, yeah, yeah. and when when you're when you're so concerned about saying the truth that you say it in such a mean and harsh way, you kind of lose the effectiveness of it. Your goal should be, especially in a one on one situation, is to try to go for understanding first yeah. and then try to fill whatever holes you see and say, okay, well, yeah. this is, you You believe this because of this, but do you know what the Bible really says about that? Yeah. Do you know where that really comes from? You should be sharp enough to know how to navigate if you're talking to a Muslim or a 5 percenter or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like you said, Jeremiah, there's a lot of questions about all these different faiths and we, we used to do these uh, segments, which we probably need to bring back where we actually pick one of these belief systems and Completely Dissected. address it I think we did Nations of Gods mm-hmm. And Earths before Yeah, yeah. Well, Have we done any other ones that you We kind of did the um, We did Comedic Science yeah. Where yeah. Pastor Bell was here Yeah We did Science. But that was That was kind of hard Hitting in, in the Black Panther Right right if right If you want to see that video It's a black we, we talked about the religion Of Black Panther exactly. The movie Yeah mm-hmm. So if you, if you want to see More of those videos You want us to address Like you know If there's a faith That you're like really you see it grabbing a friend of yours or a family member is like really into something. You want to know how to talk to them about it. And you want us to like just do a topic that's specifically about a certain faith. Let us know. And we'll, we'll work on it. Those take a lot more research. We got to be way more prepared to yeah, come in. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So if we know in or advance. backup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Having, yeah. having support here yeah. with us was, is always helpful. But let us know. Tell us. Yeah. I want you guys yeah. to do that because it'll and be I, helpful. I want to also urge you to be careful. Because I was at the barbershop one day And you know I'm talking about my faith And everything And my barber's like Yeah yeah you know I'm a man of God too da, da, da. We should do Bible study together one day And I'm like cool And so you know He sent me this address And was like Hey man we, we about to have A little man's Bible study If you're good to go <laughs> And I'm like Yeah I'm good to go I mean I was single You know it was a long long time ago And um, I pull up to this church And I'm already like Hmm okay It's in the West End not, not, not a bad thing You know But in Atlanta You know you just gotta Be mindful of where you are mm-hmm. And then um, They took me into this dark room Oh, and they strike two. Yeah, mm-hmm. strike two. And they opened up a Bible that wasn't my Bible. Strike three. I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember. I don't recognize that book of the Bible. Where y'all get this from? And they started pointing and stuff, and they started saying, "You sit under that pastor, right? You know he's going to hell, right? He's going to hell because he does this inside the church, and he does that." And, and this word right here clearly says that this you're not supposed to do that. And the I was just like, "Yo, can y'all let me Christ? go?" Yes, of course. Of course. And I was like, "Can y'all <laughs> let me go?" And they were like, "Nah, we're not done yet." And I was like, "Oh, now when I say I want to go, and you say I'm not done yet, <laughs> now, now I got a problem." Now you're so I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> but so I was like, "I'm not saying yeah. another word." To y'all open the door Cause your boy is kind of like that <laughs> yeah. Gino Yeah yeah. You know what I mean oh, yeah, So yeah, yeah. I That's That's just <laughs> that's, It's It's so many things And then also We talk about other religions We got Sects of Christianity That's like mm. Bro y'all believe that That's not what the scripture says That's That mean mm-hmm. this That's mean yeah. You know what I mean And You know it's, it's just baffling man Cause it's Now it's to the point Now you have to worry about Beliefs of other Christians Because when you yeah. say They're a Christian Just saying yeah. you're a Christian Yeah It's like yeah, So what do you much. believe in a Christian As a Christian yeah. Like you know I don't know if we're gonna get Into Lady London But it's like When she was saying I was like Oh my god gee, What is What No yeah. No You know what I mean Like <laughs> And it's not to say it like You're judging people It's just because If you If you represent something And you stand on it And you're like Yo I am a Christian I believe this I believe that People can come to you and say, okay, so if you believe that, this is what the Bible says, yeah. why are you not doing that? And that's all it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's really yeah. what it is. It's just checking each other to make sure you in the faith. Honestly. I remember early on when we started Track Stars and Sean was getting into it with the street pastor. And he invited him to the studio. And it was like, you could just feel like this demonic presence coming from this dude. Like he's yelling in the mic. He's screaming at us. He's screaming at Sean. <laughs> yeah, I think he was. Was it? I, yeah. Pastor Bethel. Pastor Orlando Bethel. Remember oh, that? Oh, he came to the studio. Yeah, he came to the studio. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but it was Shout like, you know, Pastor we were Bethel, downtown. <laughs> it was right like right in front of the CNN <laughs> Center. <laughs> and he's screaming at everybody as they walk by. You going to hell? And Sean had to go over and say something. So, you know, it was interesting. Um, <laughs> Dang, he was like that. Oh, oh man. man, he was cool. he was out there, bro. He was out there. I mean, yeah. he was every what every Sunday. Mm-hmm. Every Sunday he was yeah. out there. Like for just, me, 
For me, if in you front out of there, football stadium, basketball stadium, I'll ask you one folks. question: Who you under? Who who's your pastor? Who shepherding you? I'm Nobody, by myself. Man. He was by himself. Yeah, I got to do this because yeah, the Lord yeah. told me to do this. I'm like. I never seen the Lord sin about that. And then as, as I remember when Sean would talk to him, he would speak over Sean and be like, you're wrong, brother. You're wrong. Like just craziness, man. It was crazy. Uh, I, uh, I enjoy it. I would have I would enjoyed that. I would have laughed. I ain't going to laugh. There's a video. I haven't seen it in years, but there's a video of you talking to him. I just don't remember where. On the street or here? In, in the, on, the here, street. on the street. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I haven't seen it in a <laughs> long time. Real, real quick, how did your dad... Um, Prepared you for this Like what, what, At a young age did, did he sit you down And say Okay Sean You need to learn about this Because this is what they believe And this is what we believe Or did you Yeah Yeah I mean yeah Like again He was in He was in something called The evangelism explosion It was um, out of his church And they were trained To evangelize And part of the curriculum is You have to learn What the people you're talking to Believe You can't yeah. just mm-hmm. Go in there shouting Jesus 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 You yeah. don't know what You're gonna hear back it, It's it's the whole attitude that Paul had walking into the temple of the unknown, mm-hmm. unknown God or whatever. It, you have to understand what people believe so you know what to say to them to get them to realize what they're wrong about, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, he, he had a, I remember he had a workbook where he showed it, he walked me through it, and he was like, okay, this is what they believe, this is why, this is where this faith comes from, this is an off-branch of this and that and this and that. Yeah. So you really have to be prepared. If you're going to go out into the world and be well, an evangelist, you got to yeah. be prepared for what you're going to hear back. Right. So I, I I I desire that for everybody listening, but again I'm I'm cautious because if you're new or you, or you could be shaken by even hearing about what somebody else believes, then yeah. I'm like I don't want to be responsible for that. So, <laughs> so be did, careful. Did you ever see a time when your dad got shaken, or was was he always strong? No. <laughs> Sean's dad used to bring him into the house, like the Jehovah's Witness knock on the door. Yeah, yeah. He's inviting them in. Yeah, I no. did. I had that recently with Jehovah's Witness. Like you a brought him in the house. I didn't bring him in my house. Uh, we just stood out and it was talking. <laughs> Um, she didn't want to come in, but um, <laughs> she didn't because I was like, I was. She was. She did leave me with something that really encouraged me. She was like, out of all the Christians I ever talked to, you were the nicest Christian that I ever met. Because we was going back and forth. Because I was like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, once yeah. you realize a lot of these other religions, they try to use the Bible, but they got their own version yeah. of the yeah, Bible for yeah. sure. And then once you realize that, then you were like, oh, okay, the game is fixed. Yeah. So it's like I can say whatever I want to you, but you would send me to a place in your Bible. That's mm-hmm. not yeah. by the by the by mm-hmm. Christian Bible. Yeah. It's a Jehovah's Witness Bible. Then it's going to say something totally different. So, mm-hmm. but we had a good conversation. But she did encourage me. I was encouraged by that. That, that she was like, you, you showed us love, even though we disagree. It was the, a loving conversation. I was like, okay. I mean, please let us know if that's something that would be valuable to you. You know. You know, training on how to deal with situations like that. Just watching my dad, like, just such confidence, like, inviting people into the house. I remember them sitting on the couch. I was sitting across from him. He was sitting across from him. And they're just sitting there, like, (laughs) 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 if you ever had Jehovah's Witness come by, they're not Mm -hmm. very bashful. And they were just sitting there, like, okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he. But he. he ne- it was never overbearing. Yeah. Never mean. Just. Just very like yeah. clear. Um. So I. I'm very yeah. grateful for. Awesome. for Your dad was Preston Perry Preston before Perry. Preston Perry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of the stories yeah. he said. It sounds like yeah. my dad did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But he said something really good. I, I. I wish we didn't. I know it was a long clip. He talks about it in depth how he talked to a Hebrew Israelite and got to like, to the point of saying like, your faith is based off of. Hatred mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he said something I can't remember I don't want to misquote him He said something That made that dude go Get out of here Get out of my face I don't want to hear you no more Like mm-hmm. And he was And it was really good Like so if you got a chance Go watch that clip That we shared today Because it was really good Yeah so put in the chat Which Which um Faiths or belief groups you want us to tackle, and we'll 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 jump on those. 